Hi everyone. Um, I'm here with my what I got my kids for Christmas video. Um, I have a boy who is nine, a girl who is seven, and another little boy who is two, almost three. I do want to apologize in advance. I have been sick. I am still sick. Um, but this is my only opportunity to get this done. So if I cough or I sound out of breath or a little wheezy, that is why. Um, but anyway, like I said, this was my only opportunity to do it. So I'm going to have to just push through and do it. And I also just kind of want to put this little disclaimer out there that I know that times are tough for everyone and so if these are the kind if this is a kind of video that's going to make you upset because maybe you're in having a little bit more of a difficult financial situation um please just don't watch i don't i don't intend to make anybody upset i just i get a lot of requests for this video and so that's why i do it and i like to go back and look and remind myself of what my children were into at different ages and stages of their life um i did not stick to my normal budget this year um we i usually try to do about a hundred dollars a child the baby was probably around that or even less but the other two i definitely went went over um as they get older you know their interests get a little more expensive but this has been a, a year of a lot of change and a lot of transition for us. My husband lost his job in January. We did this big move. We've had a lot of transitions. It's been difficult on the two oldest, um, especially my oldest, my boy. He's had the hardest time with it. Um, thankfully, his new job, we have been blessed to kind of spoil them a little bit more this year than we have in years past so i did kind of go overboard in getting things that they actually wanted like i do try to get them things they want but this year i spent a little bit more than i usually do but i still try to get good deals and um if i can remember what i spent on something i'll share that but i'm going to start with Matson. he is nine and he is kind of in that in between stage where he still likes some toys but he also likes video games and he's getting into other interests too so the number one on his wish list and also what he asked santa for which um i'm lucky enough to also have the same thing just to show you is the um sonic frontiers so my kids each get one gift from santa because mommy and daddy are lucky enough to be able to help santa out so santa brings them one gift and then mom and dad provide the rest that way santa can give more to um more kids whose mommy and daddy aren't as um privileged this year so um but anyway he wanted the new oh there's a terrible glare i'm sorry sonic frontiers games for the switch um and i do know that this was a black also a black friday deal for $29 at Walmart and then launching into the gifts we got him I got him the um, the switch Animal Crossing game my younger sister has this and he's always begging Aunt Natalie to play her Animal Crossing game and sometimes she lets him and sometimes she does not so um, I got him his own and then something else that he's been begging for but is very pricey for what it is in my opinion is a memory card for his switch um so we got him this 128 gigabyte he's been begging for one of these for a while and it it's it's just it's they're just expensive they just are and so um I told him that he would have to wait for Christmas and put it on his Christmas wish list, which he did. And it just so happened that they went on sale for Christmas. Or it, it wasn't really Black Friday. It was a little before. I, I don't know. They were on sale for $18. So I actually got him one and his daddy one. Too. So his daddy gets to open one up too. 
And then this is kind of a newer interest, I guess. And that is um, Pokemon cards. My husband found his old um, boyhood collection that his mom had kept in binders of his old Pokemon cards. And still hoping that he finds the super rare one he swears he has that's worth I don't know how many thousands of dollars, but, um, but anyway, so that's gotten my son really interested and, um, they're kind of pricey, not kind of they are for what they are in my opinion, but you know, things are worth what someone's willing to pay for them. But this was a Black Friday deal at Walmart and it was half off. So it was originally 40, but it was half off for 20. So he actually saw this in Walmart and had a fit for it. And, um, but we're at that, we're at that time of the year where if, if he sees anything he wants, it's, well, maybe for Christmas. Um, he also asked for Minecraft Legos. He wasn't specific about which one. He loves Legos. And that's something that him and his sister and his dad all love to do and play together. So he's getting this set. I don't know what it's called. The Sky Tower. So, and he's getting this set because it was a clearance find also at Walmart for $30. I usually do a lot of my shopping at Target, but this year Walmart kind of um, took the lead, I think. So, um, also, like I said, Pokemon is kind of a, a new thing for him. He's He likes the cards. He's gotten a couple of Pokemon games for his Switch, so he's kind of been into Pokemon lately. <coughs> and um, I did find this at Target but I thought because I felt kind of bad because he really does not have a lot of toys I think there's only like three things that would be considered including this that would actually be considered toys um, but I saw this and I thought that he would really like this so He's getting that, and then the other toy he's getting is this um, Boba Fett um, action figure, I guess. Is it Boba? Boba? Something. I don't know. We were in a Disney store on vacation, and we went in there, and they had one of these, and he wanted it, but he didn't want to spend his all of his money at the first store we stopped at. So we went on the rest of vacation and he didn't find anything else he wanted as much. So then we went back to get this and they had only had one and of course it was gone. But I was able to get online and they still had a one line so I ordered him one off line. So he's getting that and he talks and makes noise and all that stuff. And then the last thing he's getting is um we're still working on his room we're still working on a lot of things but um it's coming along but um he has said that he wants to decorate his room in sharks he is a total shark fanatic so hobby lobby had their um what was it their spring something i don't know whatever the little tag was spring fling or whatever was like 70 percent off and i found a couple of things for his room so um there's this little sign that says beware sharks and then i also i don't know if i'll be able to fit this in there the spring shop was 70 percent off but then there's this like really neat picture i don't like it myself like i wouldn't want it in my room but my husband was with me and when he saw it he was like he would flip over that so um so he's getting those couple of things to go in his room so amity is seven and unlike her brother who is extremely hard for me to shop for she is extremely easy um in fact i find too much stuff for her but so this was not her number one wish list item 
but it was what she asked Santa for, which kind of confused me. But she, she she told him she wanted Legos. She wanted a Lego set with a car. But that wasn't like, because I always ask them, I say, what is your number one one? Like, if you could only get one thing for Christmas, what would it be? And um, this was not hers, which I'll, I'll show you hers. But this is what she asked Santa for, which was a Lego set with a car. So, um, Santa's bringing this, and it's in this nice, handy little case. Um, and apparently, Santa shops at Target because it was as a clearance sticker for $10. So, that's what she's getting from Santa. So, these next two things. She asked on her wish list, she asked for a new dollhouse and a new bell doll, like a bell Barbie doll. And these two things, like, I got both of these in an after clearance sale at Target for 70% off. So they were each $100 and they were on clearance for $30. But I got them two or three years ago and I put them up, but I don't know. I'm weird sometimes. It's like I was waiting until I felt she was old enough to really appreciate what it was because I just kept thinking if I had been, you know, seven or eight and gotten this, I would have flipped out. But like at five, I felt like she just probably couldn't really appreciate it. Um, but then with the move and with downsizing, I really didn't have the space to hide it anymore. And I felt like she was actually old enough to appreciate what it is now and she did ask for a new dollhouse for her barbies so um i don't even know if you can get these anymore so if you can't i apologize i'm just weird where i like to buy things and just hoard them but um anyway so this is a disney princess castle and i'm not going to be able to get it all in the picture but like when it's all set up, it's over three feet and I don't know if it still, I don't remember. I know it was originally like $99 and then it was on sale for like 30 because I couldn't believe it when I found it. But like I said, she, I still felt like she was a little young for it. So there's that. And then I also got, and again, um, this was $30 too. I don't know how much it was originally, like 60 or 70. Um, but the Disney Prince, and there's the Bell doll she's asked, asked, she asked for. She's just getting all these extra. So I do know that Target and I think Walmart and other places still do the, the gift set of the dolls. I don't know how much they are, but six, seven. So this comes with seven, and it comes with her favorite, which is Bear, Belle, Rapunzel. I can't remember if it's Elsa or Ariel. I don't know. I know it comes with all three of her, her, her top three. So there's that. So I'm really excited to finally give those to her. Like I said, I'm weird. My brain works weird. So her number one wish for Christmas, we went to Texas back in the summer and she had saved up her money and she had bought Gwen, which was the, um, the girl of the year's little sister who was Willy Wisher size. But when we were there, she really fell in love also with Corinne, who was, who is the 2022 American Girl Doll of the Year. And so her, her top wanted item was Corinne and Corinne's ski set. So, um, I was really on the fence about getting her, um, because she, she just, she doesn't take care of things the best. But, um, American Girl had a sale, so she was on sale, and I, if I'm not mistaken, I think I had some rewards. So, I was able to get her, um, quite a bit cheaper than, um, her full price. I can't remember exactly how much. I think it was, like, maybe 80-ish 
dollars. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but she full price she was 115, but I know she wasn't that. I know she was on sale, and then I'm pretty sure I also had reward points um to put toward her. So um I did get her Korean. Now she did want Korean ski set and ski outfit um and all of that. But those two things combined are like $80. And I just didn't feel comfortable spending that much on something that I know she's not going to take that good care of. Plus, it would have put her quite a bit over budget from her um, brothers. Um, but American Girl had a huge sale on all their Team USA stuff. So, to be honest with you, I honestly don't know if she even remembers exactly what Korean ski set looks like or if she just knows that she had a ski set. So, this is the Team USA ski set. And it was on clearance for like 20 bucks. It was originally $75. And I guess this stuff just didn't sell well because, I mean, they just clearanced it out, I guess, just to get rid of it. So, um... I didn't get her Korean ski set, but I did get her the Team USA ski set. And because they had such good clearance on their Team USA stuff, I also got her the snowboarding set. Thankfully, Korean lives in Colorado and she's into all of the snow sports. So, um,. I did get her the snowboarding set, which was also on clearance for $20. And then the um, ice skating or figure skating set, which was on clearance for like $10. And I'm really excited to find this because um, she did for her birthday, she got Gwen's ice skating set. And she even asked me then, when she asked for Korean, she said that she wanted Korean's ice skating set. And I was like, well, Korean had a ski set. She said, oh, okay. So, um, basically, so for not quite half, or, well, a little over half of what the ski and ski set of Korean's would have cost, she got all three of these. And I honestly don't think, don't know if she'll even know the difference or not. Um because, like I said, I don't even know if she remembers exactly what it looked like other than the fact that they had her up on display on some skis. Um, but anyway, I was in Target, and they had these... I don't even know what this brand is. It's by Disney. It's that. It's I-L-Y forever. I don't know if that stands for I love you or what. But they had the um, Anna and Elsa... Um, sets, and this is kind of like Disney's um, version of the 18-inch American Girl doll, so all this stuff fits the American Girl dolls, but it's still like winter and snow themed, and so I thought, you know, Karen lives in Colorado, all her other stuff is winter and snow, snow themed, so it kind of goes along with it. So she basically got Korean and a whole bunch of stuff to go with Korean, plus those two or three other things. So I think she'll be really excited about it. I'm excited about it. Um, I'm excited to open it all up and play with it. The child in me is coming out. <laughs> so last up, I have my baby Killian. He is two, he will be three in February. He is a planes, trains, and automobiles guy. He loves all of that. As you will see um, in his gifts. So, his Santa gift is this. Um, what is this? Chase and Change Frank. So, his favorite movie is Cars. And so, that's what he's getting from Santa. He has recently discovered um, Paw Patrol, which he really likes them, especially when they get in their vehicles. So, um, he, I got this Everest um, metallic snow plow for him. And then also, 
along the, oh, I hope I don't knock my tree down. Um, Paw Patrol theme. Um, we were in Walmart. He saw this. It was a Black Friday deal. It was like 20 bucks. And he had a fit for it. He actually ran up for it and grabbed one off the shelf. And um, his daddy had to distract him. And I like slipped it under our coats and stuff to check out. But this is um, Al Deluxe Big Truck. So, anyway. So, there's that. And then he also likes um, on Netflix that show Trash Truck. And all of my kids love Bluey. So I, got, I found this little um, Bluey trash truck where it has like the trash cans and stuff. And then it actually like dumps them. I don't know. I thought it was cute and I think he'll really, really like it. There's also a game he likes to play on um the tablet or whatever that um you like put trash in the trash can and then dump it in the trash truck and he really enjoys that so i i think he'll like that and the fact that it's blue is a bonus he loves tools he loves to help fix things anything his daddy is doing he is right in the middle of so, there is this Black and Decker, um, I found this little clearance, um, Junior Jackhammer. And I think it already needs new batteries. That's probably why it was old clearance. Oh, well. So, I don't know, that may get annoying real fast. It may be a good thing that the batteries are almost already dead, but... I'll pick up some extra stick in a stocking or something. This was a really good deal. This was $5 at Walmart. It was originally $21. Um, it, I don't know. I, I don't, I've never heard of this brand, Rue Crew or something. But it's a um, crocodile block activity station. So, And it comes with the characters there. I don't know. His brother and sister were getting Legos. And he likes to play and build with blocks too. So I thought he might like that. Plus I needed another thing for him. Because he kind of got. He's going to timber. Um, shorted. But. I mean he had, they have so much. And he just plays with what they have. And then this was another good deal. And I honestly thought I was going to get in a fight over this. Which. I like to think that I wouldn't ever actually be a person who got in a fight over anything, but I actually had this like in my hand <laughs> and this lady came up to me and like almost tried to take it like out of my hand. And she was like, are you buying that? And I was like, yes, it's, it's in my hand. Like I'm walking to the checkout with it, but I don't know. Like, I like to think I would have been, like, if she would have, like, actually tried to fight, I would have been the bigger person and just handed it to her. But, um, this is the Imaginex Camp Crustaceous. Is that the name of the toy or, I don't know. Anyway, it's, he, oh, he's recently, um, gotten somewhat into dinosaurs. So, it was, it's the dinosaur but it also comes with the men, the two little um, dinosaurs in the truck. And look, it was seven dollars. It's originally like thirty-seven forty-eight. For it's almost forty dollars. Like I said, Walmart has has really outdone Target with me here lately. I, I didn't. I didn't, I usually, I'm not usually a big Walmart shopper, but I don't know. Here lately, they've been kind of knocking it out of the park, so. Does he, I don't even know what all he does. Oh, he like, he, he, he I, I thought maybe he made a sound or something because his mouth's so big, but no, he's made to like eat the men, like. Oh my, that's, that's funny. They'll, they'll all get a kick out of this. They'll probably all be fighting on this. T-Rex Pursuit is the name of it. 
but anyway, so I, I think they'll like that. Um, this does not include stocking stuffers. I will do a separate video with that eventually, maybe. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you watch till the end, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.